So, let's start out with a diagram of the skeletal system. That's the wrong skeleton. Thank you. There are many parts to the human skeletal system, but some of them are more major than others. A couple of those would be the cranium, which has 22 bones, the clavicle, the humerus, the scapula, the sternum, the ribs, the vertebrae, the ulna, the radius, the carpals, the metacarpals, the phalanges, and the pelvis, or on our diagram it is shown as the sacrum and the coccyx. A few more of those major ones would be the femur, which is the largest bone in the body, the patella, the tibia, the fibula, the tarsals, and the metatarsals. One of the purposes of the skeleton is to support your body, like the supports under a bridge. So, if without your skeleton, you would just be a random blob of flesh just sitting on the ground, and that wouldn't be good for anything. The bones, also, they create blood. Like a factory, they create stuff. They create lots of blood cells. Over 9,000 blood cells every day. The, the skeletal system, it also protects your most vital organs, like your heart and your brain and your lungs. The, it's kind of like the walls of a fortress or a castle. The skeletal system has a couple of different types of main parts. One is the bones, which it has a couple of different functions. The first is, su is to support the body and provide a framework for muscles to be built on so that you don't just fall apart and the muscles are actually attached to something so they can be useful. Then the second one is to protect the vital organs like the brain, the heart, and the lungs so that you, well, you kind of need those to live, so losing those probably wouldn't be good. And the last is to allow movement by providing attachment points and levers to allow the movement of the body using the muscles, tendons, and ligaments to keep it from hurting itself and allowing it to move. The next of those three things that is the main part would be the ligaments. They are on the joints and they pre prevent movement that could potentially damage the joint, thus trying to keep you safe. Sometimes they don't always work all the way and that's when you do do hurt a joint and then the last of those three would be the tendons they attach muscle to bone and hold the frame together tendons allow for free and flexible movement so that because the muscles are attached to the bone allowing them to pull the bone and release the bone and they have a slight amount of elasticity that allows them to spring back to their normal position the skeletal system works together with the circulatory system because it produces the blood that the circulatory system pumps around. Because if the circulatory system had no blood to pump around, there would be no point to the circulatory system. Your skeletal system works together with your nervous system and your respiratory system by protecting them and making sure they do not get injured and beaten and destroyed. Your skeletal system works together with your muscular system by allowing the muscles a place to connect. Because muscles, they aren't very rigid. They may be solids, but they aren't rigid. So, it allows the muscles a place, well, a thing that is rigid to move around. So then, they aren't just flopping all over like a fish. The ball and socket joint allows for the greatest range of motion. It does this by having a ball-like bone ending that goes into a socket-like ending. And the, your limbs have these joints because they are required to have the most range of motion. Imagine, have, imagine having arms, but only being able to move them by the elbows. That would totally suck, especially if you're tr uh, trying to eat cereal. The and the pivot joint allows for only rotary movement, and it is rotary movement, and it is in places like your spine and your wrist. Hinge joints are the simplest joints because uh, they have of the small amount of force needed to be exerted through them. They are located in places on your body, such as the fingers, the toes, the knuckles, the elbows, the ankles, and in the knee. The knee is the most complicated hinge joint, and it contains three human bones. Hinge joints can only have movement in one axis, like the y-axis, which is up, down, 
they do and they do this by increasing or decreasing the angle between the two bones that they have.